run. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Air Engine V2. Uh, you might have seen a video I recently uploaded of a similar engine. It was actually an engine from a blower that I modified to run on air. This one's from a weed whacker. Uh, same, it's basically the same engine, two stroke. Um, only difference really is the spark plug is, went straight in the top as opposed to at an angle. And um, the crankshaft had a little bit different design but I was able to work around that this time. So here's basically what we have. We got a little compressor blow gun that opens and closes at a certain point in the stroke. As you can see, this uh, washer made out of plastic is offset so that it opens the valve and then closes at a certain point. So uh, that's what controls the airflow. And the blow gun is mounted to the engine using this metal bracket and uh, that's that bracket's just screwed into the engine plate with some spacers and stuff like that and then the blow gun is secured by the actual little handle on it on this it's secured by like one of these with some washers that clamp it down and uh, got a ball valve so I can control the airflow and then I just have a hose that runs up and into the spark plug hole a little hose barb and then I had to add a flywheel and this flywheel is from the last engine I used on a blower but um, I had to take this flywheel off this engine because that was the only way I could get to the threads to make the uh, valve system and then once I took it off I didn't really have a way to put it back on after I made these modifications so I had to tap threads on the inside of this piece in here which actually had a square shaft on the inside so that was kind of weird I don't know how the tapping even worked but uh, it did and then I put this flywheel on and I bolted it down using the internal threads and so that's nice and secure um, it wobbles a little bit because uh, the shaft is a little crooked for some reason but um, here's how it runs so I'm going to use my compressor at about 60 psi for an inner source, and at the right point in the stroke, and let's see if we can get it to run. There we go. Runs pretty good. Um, it just wasn't able to run without the addition of that flywheel. And once I put that on there, it runs pretty good. It just wobbles a little bit because of the alignment. But um, other than that, it's pretty consistent. You can hear the consistency of the uh, exhaust. So not bad for a little throw together. Some spare parts didn't take that long, maybe an hour or two from start to finish. A uh, fun little project, not really anything to come in the future for it because what use is an air powered engine? Not really much. Alright, before we go I just want to show how fast it can run and how slow it can run. So uh, I'll just start it up at full speed and then uh, drop it down to 
the lowest RPM and then I'll put some slow motion videos using my high speed camera and I'll see uh, exactly what RPMs it's running at and that'll also make for some cool footage anyway so here we go That's pretty slow. Ah, there it goes. So it can actually run pretty slow. It's uh, surprising. I guess it's because of the heavy flywheel that I have on there. So as you may know, this engine uses pretty much an identical design as my first one. So for this go around, I wanted to try to do something a little different. So since the spark plug hole was directly on the top, I tried just making a little check valve that went straight into the top and then it was connected to the piston, well not connected, but the piston hit a little bolt that opened and closed the check valve at the top of every stroke. But the problem with that design was it would either open the valve too early and make the engine run like this. or uh, it would open the valve too late and not deliver enough air or something like that. It was just never working properly. So I ditched that design and I went back to my original because I think this way is pretty cool and it works really nice. So. Uh, I'll upload some high speed videos that I got of the first design working like really weird. It would just change directions every every few strokes randomly. It was pretty cool to look at, but it wasn't a good engine. But uh, anyway, that's about it for now. See you next time.